Hi Beatrice! Today we're gonna play a game. It's now a super cool telephone drawing game. The category today is animals. It's okay. The monkey. What is it? It's a shark, yeah. Um, I think it's a shark. Okay. Cute, thank you. An elephant. Thank you. What is it? A monkey. <laughs> Elephant? Pig. It's a monkey. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> okay. Hello Brownsburg High School and thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Wednesday, March 20th. I'm AJ Rule. And I'm Stella Waller. And here's what's going on at BHS. We've got some construction news to share with you. The BHS tennis courts are currently being relocated to the southwest corner of Odell Street and Airport Road. Construction crews have already begun this process and they should be ready by fall break next school year. And this summer, after graduation on June 8th, Odell Street will be closed from Tilden to the south to Pete Moore Drive, which is the entrance to the track and gravel parking lots. There will be no parking in front of BHS during this time, but the lot across the street will be open. This closure should last until early July, and the door one will remain open. Congratulations to the robotics team 3176 on their victory last week at Mishawaka. Not only did they win with a final score of 86 to 56, the team also got the Innovation and Control Award to secure yet another victory against over 30 other schools. Great job, guys. The Lost and Found card is once again in the cafeteria commons for the rest of this week. If you have a lost item at BHS, be sure to check the cart to see if your item was found and returned. Any items not claimed by the end of the week will be donated. NAHS will host its March at Night this Thursday from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the BHS Cafe. No supplies or experience necessary. They hope to see you there. March 21st is World Down Syndrome Day. To celebrate all of these wonderful individuals, wear mismatched socks to show support for people with Down Syndrome. Thank you for your participation. If you missed the chance at lunch to sign up to donate blood on Thursday, March 21st, you aren't too late. If you are at least 16 years old, scan the QR code to schedule an appointment and help save lives. Any student who is 16 years old must have a signed parental consent form. Go to C2403 to pick up a form. Bring this form with you to your appointment. This form is not required for 17 and 18 year old students. The blood drive is this Thursday at BHS. Did you know it was Disability Awareness Month? No, I didn't. Well, BHS TV's Keegan Fudge is here to tell us more. It's Disability Awareness Month, so we caught up with Morgan Estes to learn more about what some misconceptions are about blindness and the tools that help them navigate, like guide dogs and more. They guide you around obstacles so that I don't have to find them and go around them myself. So like, a lot of the times they're just making sure that I'm safely crossing the street, which is like, they don't know when it's time to cross, but they can tell me if there's a car there and stop me from going if I chose the wrong time or guiding me around things like flower pots and things on the street that I wouldn't necessarily know are there. A lot of people have misconceptions about blind people and how they can't see anything and all they see is black. But that's not true because most blind people have some level of vision. But what they can see differs from person to person. Some may only see light. Others may only see blurry shapes, figures, or colors. I'd say the most common one I get is that, um, like, to be blind, you have to see, like, not much at all. But really, like, 99% of people can see, have residual vision left over. So, like me, like, I can still see, like, most of my central vision, but, like, my peripheral vision is basically gone. Assistive technology is basically technology, but making it work for people that are blind. Um, so a lot of it is like adding in screen readers, which are s softwares that read what's on the screen. Here is a sample where the screen reader explores the data set and read out central information. Preferred computer platform, high charts, interactive chart. We hope this helps you understand more about people with disabilities. Keegan Fudge, BHS TV. Thanks Keegan. As we progress further into this month, be sure to appreciate those with disabilities. Now it's time for sports. Hey Ozzy, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, as we approach spring break, we've had a couple of contests take place and a lot more still on the horizon. Let's get started with the softball team who got the regular season underway last night at Eastern Hancock. The Dogs started the season off strong and earned a 14-7 victory. Ashley Sylvia led the team going 3-for-5 with a double and a home run. Izzy Neal had three hits, three runs, and stole two bases. Lexi Gordon added two hits and two RBI, and Haley Thompson was the winning pitcher with 11 strikeouts. She also had a couple of hits and RBI. The team collected 20 hits in the game. Nice job. They are back on the diamond tomorrow when they travel to Ben Davis. Good luck. The boys track and field team was at UND last chance qualifier last weekend. No team scores were kept at this event, but the dogs had several outstanding individual performers. Dominic Calhoun won the 60 meter dash running 6.85 seconds in the event. 
Jackson Pearson ran 7.22 seconds in the 60 meter dash, which was the fastest time for any freshman in school history. The 4x400 meter relay group of Alex Iyasu, Carter Leininger, Isaiah Billups, and Dominic Calhoun won the event, posting the second fastest time in school history for that event. Isaac Taylor vaulted a personal best indoors of 12 feet in his first indoor meet. Nice job, guys. The boys club volleyball team has had a couple of matches this week, starting with Ben Davis on Monday. The Dogs defeated the Giants 3-0 and were led by Dimitri Crudup with 12 kills and hitting 62%. Owen Ellis had 6 aces and Lucas Weaver led the team in passing and Connor Duke had 16 assists. However, last night the Dogs fell to Southport 3-0. Dimitri Crudup had 9 kills and Connor Duke had 5 kills, 8 assists and 9 digs. The guys are back in action tomorrow night against Indy Genesis. Let's look ahead at the upcoming events for our spring athletic teams. The track and field teams will take on Westfield in their first outdoor meet of the season tomorrow. The boys will be at home and the girls will be away. The baseball team will host Terre Haute South for a scrimmage on Wednesday and will travel to Lawrence North for their season opener on April 2nd. The boys golf, girls tennis, and unified track and field teams will all get started in April. Good luck to all of our teams as they prep for competition. The Brownsburg boys volleyball team will be hosting a dine to donate at Buffalo Wild Wings in Brownsburg today. Up to 25% of proceeds will go towards Brownsburg boys volleyball on the day. Be sure to visit B-Dubs today from 11 a.m. to midnight. Good luck to all the teams that are in action this week. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Ozzy. That's all we've got for you today, VHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Friday.